There was that teacher who taught me the skills that made me employable, took an interest in me. That teacher is one of my best friends today. There was the man who gave me my first job because I could type and take shorthand. Well, that was in an insurance office. Well, let me tell you, I had no idea. I was so glad to get that job. Anything that he asked me, well, can you do this? Yep, well, can you do that? I can do that. I didn't know, even have a clue what he was talking about. <laughs> uh-huh, well, do you think you could do, could, do you think you could learn how to file the income taxes? Yep, that's my best thing I know how to do. Anything he wanted that meant I needed that job because why? I wanted to get emancipated. I had read where I could get emancipated, so I had taken myself down to the courthouse and I met with a judge, waited all day. I didn't know you were supposed to take a social worker or a lawyer or somebody with you, so I just waited. And finally a judge said, yeah, okay, well, you're gonna need a job, you're gonna need a car, you need an apartment, you need a utility bill, and you need to get uh, good grades in school and I don't know what else he said. And I said, okay. And I think he thought I, he was never gonna see me again. But I got that job. I saved my money. I bought a car before I had a driver's license. I got straight A's in school and graduated in the top 10 of my class. And that guy who hired me in the little insurance office, Chuck Wheeler, wherever he is, God bless him, he answered every question, and he taught me about insurance. And normally, see, I'm, I'm glad the doors are closed, because normally when I say I'm in insurance, I can clear a room. <laughs> <laughs> and then years later, when I was analyzing the way kids get injured or killed in out-of-home placement, all I had to do was mention that and clear a room. But I could see where everything that I went through as a kid, prepared me for, to do what I've done as an adult. 